Welcome to Brightpoint Infotech, your trusted Microsoft Dynamics ERP Gold Certified Partner, Microsoft Solution Partner, Direct Microsoft Cloud Solution Provider, Independent Software Vendor, and Minority Business Certified. Today I will give you the introduction and show the process of Microsoft Dynamics 365 new feature Vendor Payment Proposal Automation. The organizations that pay vendors on a recurring uh, schedule can now automate the process of generating vendor payment proposals. This is a process that helps organizations streamline their payment processes and reduce the time and effort that is required to make the payments to the vendors. However, there are several challenges that are associated with the traditional vendor payment process that can be addressed by the automation. Here are some of the common issues. Uh, manual data entry. In the traditional method, uh, there is a lot of uh, manual entry that is required to generate the uh, proposals. But in the uh, automation, we have to uh, define uh, in the parameters all the details and the proposals are generated automatically. So that results in less manual data entry. The text compliance. Automated process maintain detailed records allowing easy tracing of the payment history or the charges. The audit trial enhances accountability and facilitates uh, compliance with tax regulations. The uh, human errors or the slow manual process delays, all these uh, contribute to the late uh, fee payments. Now, the, in the automation uh, system, ensures timely payment executions, maintaining healthy vendor relationships and avoiding any penalties or late fees. Scalability. As business grows, uh, the automated payment process can handle increased transaction volumes without any additional uh, manual efforts. The automated calculations are more accurate and also the system uh, applies predefined rules consist consistently ensuring informity across payment proposals. Now the uh, vendor payment proposal automation, it helps uh, the API department with improving the management and also streamlining of the scheduling in and creation of the uh, payment proposals to the vendors. The details which can be defined in the automation of the payment proposals are when the uh, payment proposals are run, what will be the criteria that is used to select the invoices that should be paid, what vendor payment general the uh, resulting payments are saved in. The automation process of the payment proposals, uh, it doesn't uh, automatically post the payments. So if any organization uh, that has any workflow or any validation process uh, that uh, to approve the payments, that will remain same. This is not going to affect that particular system. Moving forward to the existing process of the vendor payment, this is very uh, lengthy and manual process that a user need to go every time uh, with these steps in order to create the uh, payment proposals and post the payment. So first we need to navigate to AP and create new payment general, then creating the uh, payment proposals and selecting the invoice for payment and enter all the details, selecting user records for payments and we have to set the uh, additional uh, parameters for any additional query that we have and after that we need to generate the payment and uh, confirming the payment method printing the checks or remittances and then we have to post the payment vendor uh, payment proposal automation process the steps are very less and also up to the generation of the payment proposals it's a one-time activity to set the parameters so when we have the predefined rules in the parameters the system automatically generate the payment proposals and then we have to go 
uh, in the uh, lines of the payment proposals and then we have to verify it just and then generate the payment uh, print checks or remittances and then we have to post the payments so this is uh, a very easy process as compared to the uh, traditional process so now let's go to the system and see in the system how this process works so here in the system you need to create the vendor uh, vendor payment proposal automation we need to go to accounts payable and here in the setup we go to payment setup and here it is process automations now create the new process automation select the schedule type that is vendor payment proposal i can change the entity if i want to and then create the series now we need to give the name to this proposal for example i am giving check payment here i can for domestic vendors this is the description now for right now owner is me but uh, if i need to assign someone else i can assign some other owner uh, some other owner as well now the schedule time we can give this that uh, at which time uh, the pet job for the when uh, creating the proposals should run i am giving this the time as 9:30 pm so i can select the date here as well that on which date it should run the end date is for that when it needs to end the bad job i can leave it blank or i can uh, set a particular date now the uh, occurrence pattern it means that when it should run it should run daily on the weekly basis or monthly or it should just run once so right now i'm selecting weekly here i can select either i can select all the days or what i can do i can uh, select only one day okay in every thursday this batch that job should run now these are the alerts that uh, that goes to the user when there is any error or the bad job is cancelled for creating the proposals so i can ena enable it uh, by the email okay uh, i should get an email or i should get the pop up messages for that right now i am keeping just for emails now i can select next after this setup it comes to the actual payment proposal now here in the journal name we i can uh, select the uh, the batch that will be used for the payment now the invoice date i am keeping a due date now the define to a date criteria if i select it yes i need to give the number of the days here so if i give here two days it means that if the batch is running today so it will include the invoices for another two days as well and uh, this minimum uh, payment date criteria if i am keeping this yes and if i am uh, this can be positive or this can be negative i need to define it here as well the number of days so i am giving if i am giving it minus 1 so it means that the minimum payment generation date will be one day before for example if the date is 8th of february the system will generate on the 7th of february the invoices so right now i am keeping this no if i need to uh, define the amount limit okay up to uh, only uh, the payment of 10000 or 20000 must be there i can i, uh, I can do it here in this column now the payment currency i am selecting it here usd in payment weekday also so the offset account type i can select ledger or bank and now i need to select the account as well so here if you come uh, records to include 
and we can go to the filter here now here i can select either the vendor or the uh, uh, the group of the vendor that okay uh, this is the my domestic uh, vendors group and for that group i need to uh, make the payment for check i can select it here or i can select another uh, group here that okay only uh, on for this particular uh, group only i need this uh, bad job i can define it here I'm selecting the currency right now I, I'm keeping this blank so I need all the vendors here and click on ok and now we click on finish now here if you see that ok uh, this one the schedule time is 9 30 p.m. on this date here if you scroll down you can see that the vendor payment proposal this will occur at 9 30 pm and we can click here view edit it we can edit the occurrence or the series or we can disable it from here the another way to view it is when we go to the workspace in the accounts table there is vendor payments so here also we can see it if i need to edit it i can uh, just edit it and i can click on occurrence now if i need to edit the time only so i can do that for example i am doing it 27 and click on ok so i am gonna refresh it in order to see it running so now here you can see that on Thursday, one payment, uh, one uh, bad job has been run and it is completed. Now, if we need to see the uh, payments, we can go from here or we can go directly from the vendor payments to the vendor payment. Go to the lines and see all these proposals have been generated automatically through the vendor payment proposal automation process. Thank you so much. At Brightpoint Infotech, we pride ourselves on our expertise and commitment to delivering exceptional Microsoft solutions. As a Microsoft Gold Partner, we offer a comprehensive range of services tailored to meet your unique business needs.